I do my own version of intermittent fasting that I'm going to share with you. Combined with exercise and other lifestyle habits, I'm in the best health and shape of my life. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I eat and I'll share my recent blood work in the end. Also, you have to watch until the end because the actual meal is going to be for the dinner. It's showtime. So the first thing I always have in the morning is a cup of tea. This is like a cinnamon, ginger, cardamom tea. So it's kind of this a little bit of spicier tea and it's a nice way to uh, wake up. So right now it's 8 a.m. what the clock says, but today is the daylight savings day. So it's actually 7 a.m. in the previous day. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just starting to write and I'm going to be doing that for the next three to four hours, pretty much. Uh, this is what I've been doing for the last seven to eight months, uh, writing my book, The Longevity Leap. And, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's the biggest book I've uh, ever written. It's the most comprehensive one. It's the most evidence-based one. It's got the most references. It's got eight, over 8,000 references <laughs> to different studies and, uh, uh, meta-analysis and those kind of things and yeah I've been just every day working at it for you know six hours on average for the last eight months of literally pure writing all researching and that kind of thing so yeah I'm super excited about it super proud of it and uh, yeah we'll we'll give more updates uh, when it's going to come out soon but yeah I'm just going to drink some of this coffee and uh yeah, just be in the zone, working or listening to music at the same time. And uh, yeah, getting it done. <laughs> All right, so it's 12. I'm going to break my fast with uh, the protein shake that I have every day. I'm going to share with you the recipe. But first, I'll take uh, like a few supplements as well with the food. This is astaxanthin, hyaluronic acid, and TMG plus the seed probiotic i'm doing this one as well in the short term but uh, this i'll be taking with the food Let's take like a scoop of whey protein this is my pre-workout so i'll be always having this before my workout just to get a better workout <laughs> so 10 grams of collagen peptides every day pretty much plus i'll also ha add this sea buckthorn powder which is you know uh, it's a good source of antioxidants and carotenoids, so higher plasma carotenoid levels linked to lower all-cause mortality. Just a very healthy berry powder like that. You know, sometimes it's blueberry, sometimes it's cranberry. This time it's sea buckthorn. And the last ingredient for the flavor, plus also the polyphenols and uh, lowering of blood pressure effects, I'll just add this raw cacao, which also has some of these medicinal mushrooms like lion's mane, and uh, chaga i don't have any specific amounts <laughs> i'm just putting as much as i kind of feel like and uh, lastly i'll also eat like a little bit of carrot as a snack apollo he takes the carrot tax every day he likes <laughs> raw carrots as well it's one of his favorite and um, then i'll add just a few cubes for of uh, ice it's gonna make it a bit thicker and uh, more like more like a smoothie kind of uh, texture <laughs> shake it up a little bit so that the powder doesn't get stuck and then we'll just do the nutri bullet So it looks very creamy, milky. It's very froth and tastes like a milkshake almost. You can add anything you like. You can add like some other sweetener or some berries, fruit or something like that. In total, this is about 250 calories, maybe at the most, probably 200. It got 30 grams of protein plus 10 grams of collagen. So it's a perfect pre workout plus the daily you know, collagen uh, supplementation. That's going to be just good for the my goals, if that makes sense, which are, yeah, physical fitness and, and aging. Plus, I'll just take the supplements. And that's it. I'll be going to the gym 
in an hour or two. All right, so cooking dinner, we have some broccoli, some cord or like white wish, and this is 600 grams of sweet potatoes, which I'm just gonna bake in the oven. I just added a little bit of salt, uh, nothing else. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be more like baked uh, or oven baked uh, potatoes, pretty much. I'm also gonna be eating the uh, plant-based pea protein that uh, my company is making and it's 100% pretty much whole foods. The only ingredients are water, pea protein, salt, some herbs and vinegar and uh, olive oil. So this is yeah, pretty much the cleanest plant-based protein uh, in the world, the super high protein as well. This entire batch here is 500 grams I'm not going to eat the entire thing. 100 grams of this has 20 grams of protein, so it's pretty high. And I'm going to probably eat like half, so I'll be getting like 50 grams of protein uh, from this much, something like that. So yeah, super tasty, super high protein, lower in calories, and uh, pretty filling as well. Higher in fiber as well, so it's got the pea protein that has some uh, fiber. Say something. One three one two three this is the 250 grams of the pea protein gonna it's got 50 grams of protein from here which is you know super high it also has a little bit of fiber a low carb low fat pretty low calories as well higher protein then you have red onions beetroot some broccoli this is some salad mix i got it has tomatoes quinoa uh, bell peppers some sort of other herbs i guess and uh, chickpeas. chickpeas yeah and lentils and a little piece of uh, the white fish which is like maybe 10 grams of protein that's cold okay cold so it's in total it's about 65 grams of uh, protein or something like that and the uh, sweet potato 600 grams of sweet potatoes for the carbs and this is uh, unsweetened iced tea I'm also going to add this kind of more, I don't know, different special virgin olive oil. And it uh, tastes more bitter than a regular olive oil, which is a good thing. It has like more polyphenols. And I'll also have a little bit of balsamic vinegar for the taste. And a real proper gourmet style uh, dinner. It's <laughs> all right so this is the let's say second part of the meal or dessert i'm having casein protein i have some walnuts and some uh, cacao nibs here I just put this is a, like very tasty uh, super simple super healthy uh, dessert so i got just one scoop of casein i'm gonna put a little bit more because I worked out today, so like half a quarter scoop. And here I have, this is like a, almost like a kefir or sour milk <laughs> type of uh, drink. Yeah, it's pretty much kefir or like unflavored yogurt. And uh, I'm going to, you know, add, add a little bit. Then I'm just going to mix it. So the protein powder it becomes chocolate kefir <laughs> pretty much so fermented dairy super good and looks like yogurt <laughs> chocolate yogurt but it tastes like one of the things i had when i was a child so this here is probably again at least 30 grams of protein and uh, yeah it's a nice final kind of dessert as well to top up my protein intake for the day so in total the first meal the protein shake 30 grams of protein plus 10 grams of collagen then the second meal the main course that was 65 grams of protein so that's you know 100 grams of th 95 plus 10 grams of collagen and this is uh, again like 30 grams of protein and uh, in total i'll be getting you know 130 grams of protein plus 10 grams of collagen is this nice
the walnuts make it a little bit crunchy. Chocolate, chocolate kefir or <laughs> chocolate chocolate looks actually looks very chocolatey now. So pretty. You can add berries. You can add whatever. Tastes uh, super nice. Here are the total macros for the day: roughly 21 to 2200 calories, 140 grams of protein plus 10 grams of collagen, 150 grams of carbs, 50 to 60 grams of fat. This is what a typical day of eating looks like for me. I might change some of the food groups, but the main structure is still the same. Let's just look at my recent blood work uh, done in February. So pretty much everything is uh, optimal. My blood sugar levels is optimal. Hemoglobin A1C5 with uh, LDL below 100, HDL 62, triglycerides 53. My lipids, ApoB 77, inflammation 0.2. Kidney health is also uh, very good. My VO2 max is 66 milliliters per kilogram per minute, which is in the elite category of 18 year olds. And my appendicular lean mass index is 8.9, which puts me in the 90th percentile of people in terms of muscle mass in my age group. I'm happy to announce that my upcoming book the longevity leap will be published before summer 2024 so if you're watching this from the future then you will probably be able to get access to it in amazon if you're watching it right now then you can join the waiting list the updates list at uh, www.thelongevityleap.com where you will also get after the book has launched you will also get a free bonus chapter that goes into the details of all my routines with diet exercise supplements and other things other than that thanks for watching this video make sure you click the like subscribe notification bell as well my name is seem stay optimized stay empowered